da, 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 draw a long time for everybody out there who's watching. Thank you for joining me. I'm Kyle T. Webster, your host for this Wednesday episode of the Draw Along Show. Remember that this is an all ages, all skill levels drawing show. For the first 10 minutes or so, we do a You Draw It, which is where you can follow along with me. We'll draw something together that is simple and fun. We'll follow that up today with a art tip. Now this art tip today is going to be one that I think you'll find pretty handy. And it's something that confuses a lot of people, but once you look at it the way I'm gonna show it to you, hopefully it will simplify things and you'll have no trouble going forward. And last but not least, of course, we have the animal and activity game where you will suggest for me an animal, please, in the chat doing something funny or strange or unexpected, weird, kind of out there. And I will draw it for you in the short time we have remaining for the show. And that's how it works, folks. Let's say hi to some friends here who are joining us. We have Sam and Umacorn and Gareth. And we have Z and we have Daniel Zomboy and Laura and Mercurial and Steven and Ruth uh, and RB. I think I said RB, you did it. I, I don't remember. Um, the chat's blowing up. People are saying a lot of things. I'm trying to scroll through and say hi. If you are, hey Tina Marie, yeah, hi Clever, nice to see you. If you're watching over on uh, YouTube or Twitter, remember to join us over at Behance, okay? That's B E dot net slash Adobe Live. And that is where you will find the chat that I'm following, okay? You're welcome to watch wherever you like, but if you want to interact and chit chat with me and these other folks, go ahead and head over to that address that you see on the screen right now, and uh, we can all be happy together. Anybody out there with some pets? You have a little pet? We had a hamster there. Unfortunately, that hamster is no more, but sweetest little thing. Um, but no pets at the moment. We do have a lot of neighbors with dogs. Actually, the next door neighbor's dog only eats garlic. And I can safely say that his bark is worse than his bite. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So bad. Listen, why don't we do some drawing, okay? How about that? Uh, to do these drawings, you have to be able to do three simple things. And remember what they are, folks. They are a straight line, a zigzag, and a curvilinear line. Now, if you can do these three things, could be a C curve, you know. If you can do them, well, you can draw along with me, and I know you can. So grab yourselves a pencil, a pen, a marker, a crayon, or a bamboo rod that you have broken off of a bamboo tree in the forest nearby, and you can dip it in some honey mustard and draw with that. It's up to you. Why don't we get started with the you draw it portion of the show. Today we're going to start with a almost vertical line. All right, it's going to have just the tiniest of curves to it. And when I say tiny, I mean like this. Check it out. Whoop, like that. Barely there. It's barely a curve. Uh, we're going to follow that up with a straight line at an angle. And I want you to imagine that if this were a clock, this line here is facing towards noon. The next line we draw is going to be facing towards meh, about 8 p.m. 8 o'clock, okay? It's gonna go this away. Why did I say p.m.? I don't know, because we're in the p.m. now where I am, so I guess that's on my mind. This line is gonna be shorter than our first line. Here's the first line. Look at the length of that. Imagine you're cutting it roughly in half, and then I want you to draw a line like that. See? That's the next step. So we're going six, a seven, an eight o'clock, okay? Excelente. Now we're gonna come back at something slightly more acute than a right angle. Okay, like so. And that is the beginning of our drawing. How's everybody doing out there? Am I going too fast? Um, bamboo is actually a grass, not a tree. Steven, that's fascinating. I had no idea. I did not know that. I did not know that. I can't do Johnny Carson. Besides, most people don't know who he is anymore, so I'm proving my age. Glad you like the joke, Z. Thank you. Well, there's plenty more where that came from. You can go back and watch the other 150 episodes of the Draw Along Show for some pretty bad dad jokes. Now, for this line that we just drew, that was the second line. I want you to look at it. And I want you to follow it back, okay? So we're doing sort of a parallel line. This one's gonna creep back to about there. All right, so we're going uno, dos, tres, and four right there. Next step, okay, we're gonna come back up uh, to the top here. We're gonna do two lines next to each other like that. One, two, three, see that? They're all following in the same direction, all right? Mostly spaced apart, about equally. But then we're gonna break it up here with a little curvilinear line, check it out. Oof, like that. It's kinda like you took a letter C and you've reversed it and then rotated it counterclockwise, okay? 
That's kind of what that is. Or maybe it's just a horseshoe. I don't know. Throw a little line inside of it like that. Okay. And now we're going to do more of these shorter lines, but these ones are going to face in this direction. We're going to go one and two like that. So we got one, two, three, and a one and a two. And there we go. I want you to come right here where this line is and follow it back. Okay, we're going to follow it back this way and just draw a little dot like that. Okay. And where we change direction down here, we're going to draw a little line up like so, okay? About that far. Leave a little bit of space there. Under this dot, I want you to drop down straight on down, whoop, to here, and we're going to do another little line, different angle, like so. Alrighty. Actually, I probably should tuck that a little, there we go, a little bit closer to the, the nose there. We are drawing a possum today, or an opossum. I never know if uh, one is more correct than the other, but I've heard both. I don't know. Now here, we're going to do a little line, the tiniest of lines. See that? Under that, we're going to draw another curve, and it goes like this. We go out, and we curve down. All right? And then we're going to go up. See that? We curve down. And now we're going to go zig, zag. So it's out and curve, up slightly at an angle, and then a zig and a zag. Okay, next to this curve, we just mirror that curve with a little line like so, simple, simple. And underneath, we go one, two, a couple of little lines, make, sure, make them a little closer together, there we go, that's probably better. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, starting from back here, all right, I'm going to draw a line that curves up under here, like a big letter C. It's gonna come up and around and it's going to stop again just inside of uh, this V shape right here. Let me show you what I mean, okay? Here we go, one, two, see that? It comes around and stops. If I were to do a dotted line like this, you'll see they're, they're underneath one another. We're lining those up, okay? And then it's gonna angle down again like this and we just do a little line like that, right? You can add a little hair here if you want, doesn't matter. And again, we're gonna mirror that, mirror, mirror, and again, okay? Now from here, we're gonna cut back. Cut back, oops, like so, all right? And then another couple of lines right here. So we're cutting back, and then another couple of lines. Now for the back, all right, here's what you do. You're gonna start from here and you're gonna draw a curve, all right? And you're gonna stop it at about the place where um, the top of this zigzag is, right about here. So watch, I come down like this and I stop right about there. Now from here, you're just gonna go one, two, you're gonna do a bunch of these little lines, okay? See how they're kind of coming straight down? And what they're gonna do is they're gonna start to curve in just to the back of this foot. Check it out. Boom, 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 like that. You come down with those lines, right? And if you want, you can do a little, little line right there and a couple more hairs, all right? Now here, I'm gonna do a tail. And the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna draw a line that's almost vertical, okay? It's tapering slightly to the left, so out from the right into the left. Okay, see that? Then I'm gonna leave a little space and do the same thing from out to the left and into the right. See that? Very slight taper to it. Slightest of tapers. I'm gonna jump out to the left of both of these lines near the bottom. And I'm just from, from slightly above where those lines end, I'm gonna do a diagonal line like this. Okay, see how it starts slightly above those two? And then another one right here, okay? And then I'm just going to curve at the top and the bottom like that. So we go around and around. And now from here, I just draw a line out this way and a line out that way, okay? And from here, I do another line this way. And now what I'm gonna do is allow this line to curve slightly up and to the left, 
while this one carries back straight like this. And the last little thing I do is I make a little bump like that, okay? Actually, it should be a little closer. There we go, that's better. Now, this is what we did. Oh, sorry, whoops, we got two more little lines right there. Ah, that looks better. This is what we did with our bat. You may remember we drew a bat together. I might throw another ear in back here like this. We drew a bat together months and months ago. And what we did was we drew it upright and then we just took our paper and we rotated it 90 degrees, right? And then that allows us to do the rest of the drawing, okay? Where you can do a little branch, et cetera, et cetera. And you can finish that out and do what you want with it, okay? So it's easier to draw our little friend upright than it is to draw him upside down. Uh, and then just turn your paper around, right? Simple. And that is the you draw portion of the show today. Our little opossum or possum. Um, Harry says there's a difference between possums and opossums. I would love to know what they are. Uh, what are the differences? Tell me somebody, I'm so curious. Um, Ruth says that her opossum is looking more like a warthog. Well, that's interesting. It says, in North America, we have only opossums, but we almost always call them possums. It's a clever thing. We're learning all kinds of things about possums and opossums on today's show. Interesting. We learned also that bamboo is a grass. So we've got science lessons with the Draw Along Show. There's all these things you didn't expect. Isn't that lovely? Um, alrighty. Now, Let's move on to today's art tip. And today what we're talking about is drawing, I want to say ribbons, but it's things that are fairly flat that will bend or curve in space. And how do you draw those things? Most commonly someone will have like, you know, something cool like title and they'll want to put it inside a banner, you know? So they'll draw this part of the banner and then they want to show that the banner has some dimension to it. So what you want to do is look at the total height of this, okay? And you make yourself a little triangle underneath like that. And I want you to imagine that you're taking that height and you're moving it down this much, okay? From where the bottom is to this new bottom, which is the bottom of that triangle. You're just taking the whole thing and shifting it, okay, down to here. And then you can connect like so, right? And do the same on this side, ba -ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Now, this is a simple one. This is just bending something, folding it back, right? You could even, if you want to, you can change the width of it, you know, as you get towards the back. There's lots of things you can do. But what about when things curve? So let's take a look at that. So let's say, for example, I have a ribbon that's gonna do this, okay? And I draw the first bit of the width of the ribbon, so we have the right and the left side. Well, the easiest thing I've found to do, if you're doing this in pencil, is go ahead and just draw right through it, okay? And just mirror or rather, I'm sorry, uh, echo what, you're, what you've drawn with the other line, see this? And draw it right through, okay? Get that a little wider, yuck, like that. And then you can erase away this bit here, okay? So first what you're gonna do is connect, 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 and connect these places. And then you can erase those bits that appear using our x-ray vision, if you like, okay? You erase those bits, and there you have it. And of course, you can estimate this and do it by, you know, without drawing through it, but drawing through it sometimes helps you to understand where those uh, curves are happening, okay? And where something passes behind another uh, section of the ribbon and so on. And you can practice these, and these are fun to draw, so give yourself a challenge, like say, okay, I'm gonna do something that moves 
like that, you know, and then decide how wide is it, okay? And then start trying to figure out how you would draw this, right? Now, notice in this section what happened here. I got more narrow because it's moving away from me, okay? It's like if I take a rectangle and I start to move it away from me to the right, it's going to start to do that, right? As it starts to become more and more deformed, moving to the right. The same thing's happening with the ribbon here as it's moving away from me in that direction. But this is a good exercise for people to start to understand how to draw these things. Now, if you want to get fancy after you've done a few of these, and you can do them straight too, you know, you can do similar to what we did in the first bit here, right? You can even do that, say that part's in shadow, right? Um, and speaking of shadows, if you want to get fancy, you can do stuff like this, wherever there's a part where something passes behind something else, you can do these lines that are closer together and then get further apart, right? Like that, and that gives it more of a feeling of dimension. See what I mean? So try this out. This is a good, a good exercise. Draw some ribbons and try and make them look believable in a 3D space. Let's see if you can do it. And I think you can. I think you can. Try that trick of drawing through it and see how that goes for you. Okay? And you know what time it is. It is time for the old animal and activity game where, of course, we are going to do your suggestion. Oh, but before we get to that, you know what it is. It is Appreciation Station. What's up? Today, 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 we are appreciating Daniel Zambwe. Daniel Zambwe, hope you're out there. And I hope you are watching. We are appreciating you today. Um, you and I were recording our comedy album called Painted Into a Corner. Maybe you remember this. And man, it was, we were, had a couple tracks left. I was out of ideas, had no funny ideas. And he said, Kyle, I learned this trick from another comedian. Works every time. What you do is you bump your elbows together. So he bumped his elbow into mine. And he, we did that a few times. And all of a sudden, I started having these great funny ideas. I said, why is that working? He said, you get the funny bones together, you're knocking those funny bones together, and that stimulates the brain to start thinking funnier. And so wrote a few more jokes, you know, and uh, sure enough, that album won a Grammy that year. And because it was your idea to, to, to knock the elbows like that, wow, really smart. We decided you should take the Grammy home, deservedly, deservedly. And uh, so my question to you is, do you still have it? And uh, where do you keep that Grammy? That's so cool. So thank you. We appreciate you. Quick thinking, cool idea. Try it out, folks. If you can't think of anything funny, knock the elbows and um, stimulate that funny bone. Yeah, it works every time. Okay, so now back to drawing. The animal and activity game. You suggest for me an animal doing something funny, strange, weird, unexpected, and I will draw it in the time we have remaining. I have my light blue color ready to go to sketch with. Examples of animal and activity uh, suggestions from the past are things like a surfing monkey, a opera singing bat, um, a yeti. Last week we had a yeti who was uh, backpacking. Um, we've had a alligator on a pogo stick. All kinds of cool stuff. Let's see what you've got. Today we have um, a turtle hand drumming on a turtle shell from Chris. Turtle drumming on a turtle shell. I like that. Um, grandma riding a dolphin. Interesting, Tina Marie. <laughs> Laura has a worm knitting. My, my daughter is uh, knitting now. She's pretty good at it. A kangaroo skiing. Steven says a gazelle fashion model. Steven, you've asked for that a few times, and I'm going to do it for you because I like it. The only thing is I don't quite know how to draw a gazelle, so it might be something gazelle-like, but not totally a gazelle. How's that sound? So we're going to do this. We're going to go like that. I think the gazelles have those horns in the back and they got like a face like a deer kind of, right? Don't they? Something like this. Is that pretty gazelle-like? All right. 
That's going to be my, my gazelle, because I, I really don't know what I'm doing. But you've asked for it so many times, I feel like, you know, got to try and try and make it work. And we are going to do, let's see, a, um, so what kind of fashion are we going to do? How about... like that something where it's got like this really deep cut here and then it opens up sort of like a kimono i guess i guess you could say it's like a kimono and then we'll have these super flared out like bell bottom sort of pants and then platform sort of shoes like that So is that is that gazelle? -y? Is that sort of gazelle-like, right there? I guess you wouldn't see that other ear. Let's see if I got to get my perspective right here. So we got horn here, horn here, and then um, here we've got that. Oh, do they have ears like that? I guess is that better? Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, I don't know. It's either a dog with horns or it's a or it's a gazelle. Uh, it's something. <laughs> don't they have tails too? Kind of like something like that. I really don't know what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, let's try that. Okay, let's knock it back. Let's grab a darker blue and see what we can do here. Upright ears and horns, says Mon Man. Upright ears, so more like up this way? Is that better? Or are they more sort of up here? And do they have little shaggy bit behind the head? We'll just we're just making up an animal here today it could i mean maybe it's it's like maybe kind of gazelle like or it's something completely different whatever <laughs> i mean you know i've got like two minutes to finish it so let's see if we can do it so here's this sort of kimono inspired fashion piece And then we got our hoof. And these ridiculous pants. Tail. And 
shoes. And one more arm here. And there you go. What do you think, gang? How's that work out for you? Hey, we always just barely scrape by, don't we? All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Draw Along Show. There's more tomorrow at the same time. Please join me then. And until we meet again, remember to please be kind to one another, okay? And um, I will say ciao for now.